Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Christine and it's going to be a little different of a video today. We just got our new chest freezer and we are going to be doing some organizing. So I bought these really awesome totes and I thought I'd show you how I organize it and bring you with. So come on with. Okay, first things first, I'm going to get everything out of the freezer. I do have them in bags right now. And I'm, yes, I'm using different gloves because it is freezing, obviously, in the freezer. And then I've got the bags right here that I'm going to organize in. So this is the type of tote that I'm talking about. I, this is my one from Aldi, but that's the style. So it's the hard side. And it's nice because it's got the, the handles on the sides and the long strap. We're just going to open up all the bags and organize. So, like I said, we went from a five cubic foot uh, freezer. This one is 16 cubic feet. Do a little organizing. So, see, they open up like this. And then this folds down to make it sturdy. I don't know, there was some deal on Amazon. These are called Wise Life. I mean, I don't care, really care what they look like, but they're actually pretty cute. So I got six of these. I thought that would suffice. And if there was any extras, I would just use them for grocery shopping. So I'm gonna get these opened up and then we'll look through the bags. And I just figured I'd do uh, pork, uh, beef, chicken, seafood, and then any ground beef. So I'm thinking those should kind of fit nicely into the freezer here. So I'll speed this up for you and get these all open. Okay, they're all open. I have six of them. I'm get my glove back on here. And I'm just gonna get to doing some organizing. I'm gonna bring each of the containers over and kind of delineate what I think should happen. So just kind of going over beef and beef roast. So I can see quickly that this is definitely going to fill this uh, bin up uh, pretty fast. So I'll probably have to designate two for beef. And then there is a miscellaneous one, like I have butter and some rice and some veggies. So we'll just kind of figure it out as we go along. So. And our kids, one set of our kids ended up moving and they didn't want to move with all of this uh, beef and pork that they had. So they actually filled up our upstairs freezer and our little one down here. So we came back to a really nice uh, quantity of meat so we really haven't had to shop for any we just got the ground beef so pork roast which is exciting i might i think I might do all the ground meat in one like i've got all of my ground beef and then i made these burgers out of some ground meat that we had gotten from a local restaurant that where you make your own steaks etc so I made up some burgers with that. So round steak. My husband just got a new smoker, so we're super excited to do some smoking. So not sure if you guys do that. And I apologize about the lighting down here. It's kind of a, a dungeon, but I'm making do with what we have. All right, so quite a bit of pork. I really wasn't sure what we were getting. So, let's move on. And here's my chicken. So, I buy the, um, the big chicken legs, the big packages from Sam's Club. And then I just kind of, instead of having the giant, giant pack, I think I have one giant pack, but the rest I divvy up for like portion size for my husband and myself. And then I vacuum seal it. So, this is chicken. And then some lunch meat and some ground beef. So yeah, I think I'm going to do ground beef in one, or ground meat, I should say, because I have some ground pork. And then 
we have some kielbasa, steak, and here's some more chicken legs. And the chicken legs, I love just putting them in the slow cooker all day uh, with or without barbecue sauce. And you can steam them, you can, I mean, you don't have to put sauce all around them and they just cook up so nice and they literally fall off the bone. So that's one of my favorite things to do. Some rice. Ooh. All right. My husband will be so thrilled that we can just grab a bag out and know what it is. I actually might take my label machine and label, because it'll stick, right? Maybe it won't in the freezer, I'm not sure. But I'll try to label them and then he won't have to worry about what's what. But I suppose it says right on the package, right? So maybe I won't. And the goal with us getting a bigger freezer is obviously, I have quite a few siblings, and they always talk about buying a cow, buying a pig, this and that. And I've always wanted to get in on that. So we now have the room. We're going to eat our way through this this year and smoke our way through it, I guess. My husband's got this new smoker. But I'm so excited to finally have a big enough uh, freezer and especially in these times you know with the skyrocketing prices of meat I actually had someone ask me one of my uh, favorite subscribers asked me he's over in the United Kingdom he just said well why do you pressure can like I had my last video pressure canning and I just said instead of freezing and he I just told him I said well because it helps kind of inflation proof what you have and it's shelf stable for quite quite a long time and also convenience where you can just grab and go so for instance I have some ground beef which this is where my little pantry is down here I'll do another video on that but so tonight my husband wants uh, we're gonna do stuffed peppers I'm gonna grab some of this ground beef down here that I already have made up and then we're just gonna make a little nice little portion and each pint you know holds one pound so but I just told them they don't really have pressure canning there. I was so shocked. So I just, I'm super excited to just have what we have and to be able to keep it longer term from getting freezer burnt, etc. So I just thought I'd share with you my org organizing. And like I said, we literally just got that yesterday, the freezer, and then I got the bags today. So I am going to continue on. And these are my husband's grill gloves, but they're working great. So I see there's a lot of roasts. So not a lot of chicken. I still have a few bags. Let me go over that. And yeah, I've got more miscellaneous stuff. So all these uh, pork roasts. We might be doing more than one pork one. It just depends. So miscellaneous. And I might have to put the seafood in with the chicken because I don't think I have that much chicken on here. And bacon. This is miscellaneous. Ooh, and my salmon. We have some smoked salmon. I might, you know what, I'm going to bring that up. And some brats, Clement's brats, those are the best, no MSG, favorite of ours. Some more split pea, it's actually almost a soup kind of day today. Went from being, you know, blazing hot to uh, I have a sweatshirt on, so. <laughs> Oops. All right, some steaks, some more bacon, which I'm excited for my husband to smoke. Okay, and I'm down to the last bag. And then we'll switch, we'll switch camera angles and we'll see what it looks like inside. All right, so here's these giant packages. I actually won this <laughs> at a meat raffle. I don't know if you have those where you're at, but we have those in the Midwest. 
and you draw sticks that are on paint, you know, numbered on um, paint sticks out of a bucket and they spin a wheel and we won. So we won some, some meat. So I didn't get a chance to um, have this up. So it just kind of came how it was. So that's that chicken. It's not looking too bad, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put roasts in this empty one, but I first wanna see how these fit. So I wanna see what's what. So maybe I'll take the shrimp and put it in by the chicken. I don't really have much shrimp, so I'm going to do that. And then, should I put the pork by this or leave it some, or the bacon by that? I've got five packages. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, so I'm feeling kind of organized. And then you can literally pull these out and look to see what needs to be used first. That's the other thing I really like about them. And yeah, all right. I'm gonna switch camera angles so we can see inside. Okay, we had a malfunction. So let's try this again. So I'm gonna open this up and get these in. So kind of learned my lesson. I need to Pick them up by the big handles. As you can see, this flopped off. I guess uh, I have too much weight in here, but that's fine. They were cheap enough. So I'm gonna lower this in. That will be our designated beef spot. And then I'm thinking of doing the pork a little bit further away. So I'm going to do the chicken and miscellaneous next. I'm wondering if I can fit them side by side instead of, that'd be nice. Hmm. Let me see. Nope, not quite wide enough. Okay. Stick to plan A. All right, side by side is what we're doing right now. So side by side. And I've got an idea. All right, so this is kind of the miscellaneous one. And that's the one I want over here. Do the miscellaneous. Okay. So I'm just gonna slide all over. So I'm gonna do that. That's miscellaneous. And I could probably take a few things out and put it behind. And then let's do pork roast. Okay. And then we've got this. So I think I might take the, all the ground meat out and put it in this basket. And then utilize this backspace for bread. I think that kind of sounds good right now. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So maybe not these burger patties. I'm gonna maybe flop those in the beef one. And that'll just kind of lighten the load a little bit. There's only a handful. But definitely use that for the ground beef. That's kind of the first thing we usually tend to grab. The ground beef and, whoops, burger. And then the, there's only a couple porks and one turkey that I have in here, so. All right. Okay, is that really it? Hey, all right. Let's see how it looks. Let me show you. It's not too bad. All right, and like I said, this can slide. So we've got the beef, kind of the miscellaneous, which has like the chicken and shrimp. And then pork. 
And then this is the other miscellaneous, which I might do a little more organizing since I do have the room. And, and then just kind of in the back there is where we have the bread. So, yeah. That wasn't as hard as I thought. It definitely pays to have a large freezer. So when it comes down to it, it only costs us, you know, maybe $50 a year to run a bigger uh, freezer like this. I know that the, the tall ones use more electricity and they're definitely more expensive. We got a killer deal on this. It's not the self defrosting, but that's not too big of a deal. So I am excited and we're all set. And now I've got uh, kind of a big mess to clean up. So uh, I'm gonna get the video closed up. Okay friends, thanks for stopping by and checking this out and helping me really get organized. So let me know in the details below if you organize your freezer and what you use. I had watched a few other channels, some of my favorite channels, my Acre Homestead and a few other ones, and these are the type of bags that they used while they organized all of the meat that they have. I don't have a third of what they have. But I did learn my lesson. One of the bags, the handles on the sides did break. I had too much weight, but the other top handles did hold up nicely. So now I have two extra totes that I can use for grocery shopping or for future because I can definitely double stack in this. So anyways, I thought I'd show you what I was up to today and kind of on a gloomy day today. So thanks for stopping by. And if you like videos like this, hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. I'm gonna pick these up and set them in. And I just dropped it. Or doing some organizing. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Blah, 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 blah.